Good evening. <clears throat> this is a very, very quick video. I'm not empty in my head, but it's all like so boring. You know, I drew a few things, you know, and you probably couldn't figure out what this is. And I'm not really here in this video to show you what this all is. And I'm not really going anywhere. So I said, what can I do to boost myself up? And all of a sudden, I thought of this. The minute I thought of this, I thought of you. What, are, what subjects are we on? Not what just I can do. But this is not about me. But I'm always talking about me. This is Ron Paul. This is the world for those who need the freedom. And I know I fall within that bracket because either there is freedom or there's no freedom. There's no in between. It's not like a scale. You don't get on the scale and go, well, you weigh 172 today. You don't have your freedom. It's not the way it works. But when we do present ourselves as overweight, we withdraw some of our freedoms we can do if we were less heavy. Or we would be more sufficient if we were heavier. And so on and so forth for that. So right now I'm busy sticking up with designs and the dice and smoking a couple of cigarettes. Anybody want? When we get together, we're definitely smoking one. Why not? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I started looking back to the past and I started to look what man had. Man had a book, man had a wife, man had a field. He didn't have time to sit and watch TV. Cows got up at six, they went out to graze, the pigs had to be fed, the lamb had to be moved, and he had to kill a pig for this afternoon for the week so, so he can eat next week. So he was always busy feeding his face. Okay, underneath the house with a beautiful wife and nobody coming by because he's free and in liberty. Out in the wild, wild west. Well, it shouldn't have been the really wild, wild west. It was the wild west because basically I don't think they had the stature of liberty back then, or did they? Where was the WWW anyways? You understand what I mean? Where is it coming from? Do you know that two years ago, I met a guy and he was like, let's meet at McDonald's, you know, and we were like this whole group of 20 and he was going out to these places and telling us there's bees and this and that and it was all a privatized thing to grow hemp because they were growing hemp to prove to the government or worth a government course, but yet it never got any bigger than that. It was like still private and you got to go out for weeks, but you make good money because that's all you do. And hemp is good for everything. We must reduce the usage of our gasoline by over 60%. We must make something else. There are other things. We know there are other things. Maybe we're not taking the right highway to work, but what would it be like with everybody on a single bike? I can see four people to a car on a highway, or everybody on single bikes would look like the Olympics. Every single morning, going from Laval over to Montreal, where do you lock your bike up? You know what I'm saying? But obviously you can park in more spaces with the bike than you could a car. I guess. Like, I'm always guessing. Like, I really don't know. I know for myself of what I know. But that's what I know. It's for me, and I'm satisfied with it. But am I satisfied totally? Of course not. Because what I don't know, I do want to know. And when I know it, I won't know that I probably learned it at all. But I'll know it. And eventually, in time, I'll use it for something else. That'll teach me something else. And all in all, I never knew how I got it. Like how I am today. I have no idea how I became how I am today. Not eventually and actually, I mean today, but I mean in general. Mr. Tackpans with the mask. And you know what? I feel good. That's my world. I'm living in my own jungle of art. I've got my mind intact. I've got the pictures on the wall. And I've got the stories coming from like verbal diarrhea. She's just flushing out. Feel the mist off my breath, blow it on to you. Like, what do I know? I only know like this. Check it out, okay? If Jesus is coming, right, I think the best time is to come while I'm alive, so I would know. So therefore, I'm tended to pushing that Jesus should come, like everybody else that's going to be dead in 30 years, okay? I'll be 78 by then. Well, anyways, this ain't rushing the matter, is it? 
irrelevant to the effect. I couldn't speak. I didn't have for two minutes to speak, and I'm already at five, only because I took a couple of puffs. Am I allowed to say marijuana? Am I allowed to say the word marijuana? You know, I'm not sure. Marijuana. What about that word marijuana? Where you can get the oils out of it, and, and I don't even know what you can get from it. I watch uh, plenty of things on it, and yet I just can't seem to grasp anything, but I don't need to grasp. I only know as I know. The world where money is God can no longer live. Money is dead. The word money should die. And one of the words with money, we should relocate its letters back to where they came. Money is a 72 letter count. The two worlds of seven. Both worlds need the money. We are the money to the God, and the money is us to bring us forth in this world. We are to go forward in this world. We are God's money. We are God's money. What else does he have to live for, God? What else does he have in this world? There's absolutely nothing good in this world. Absolutely nothing good in this world. Nothing good in this world. There's only nothing. And there's absolutely nothing good in this world but one thing. There's only one thing that's good in this world. And the only thing that's good in this world is you and me. And that's it. To God, there's nothing else. He don't care about your oil, and he don't care uh, if you knitted a crooked blanket or a straight blanket. All he cares about is that you care. So you should be like him. He embodied you like he is. Now he wants you to be like him and to care. That's all it is. But to us, it's money. In French, I would go M-O-N, and that would be my and E. Well, what the hell would be my E? Well, let's see. E and Y together is 30 and 32 equaling 62, which means the passage to go far in this world takes money. And at the same time, for the good, the evil comes along with the money. So you know the association with the money that can take you one way can actually turn it around and turn everybody upside down. While you go up, everybody goes down. Don't forget, the value in this world, does it ever really grow? Well, if we dig and we get things and we sell it, okay, it grows. But if we don't earn enough in our salary, we will fall to the system. We must grow as the system grows in order for all money to have its equal divided value that is, it is supposed to have. Okay? You can't give somebody a loan for $80,000. You have to give the man $80,000. He'll never be able to pay off that $80,000. You understand what I mean? It's a fucked up system and I don't like it. I'd like to have all the money in the world, but like I said, most of the people that have 30, 40, 50,000 wouldn't even affect them one bit. Even those of 100 and 200 and 300 and 400 and a million, it'll affect them a little bit. But the higher you go, the more it's going to affect you. The harder you grind it out to make it that big, the harder it is to keep. That's what it's all about, my friend. You know, the guy's got $300 left, you're in a hand. Okay, you walked in with 300 just like the other guy. You're in a hand, you got two aces. You throw all your money in, the guy's got two twos. You made a good play, but you lost it all. That's the way it is in this world. You have to sometimes save up for when you go bankrupt, you can start over yourself, okay? By taking out and paying your taxes properly and, and doing the right thing of how money is supposed to work. But if you don't work money the way it's supposed to work, money will become very, very bad to you. So money, or just put a key in it, or just say your pinky, the bottom end of your pinky, the EY, and the EY and money are the same. Therefore, let's try to understand it. Money totals 30, which means creation, right? Alpha Omega means creation. There's your O. Can't do it any other finger. Oh, 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 yes. First and second, second and third, but this is the first and the fifth. One spirit, five man. This is who you are. And five and one, if you add them together, make your six. I didn't need another hand. Do you understand what I mean? One and five, first finger and fifth finger. I told you, you're number five. Look on the Mayan Sanskrit. You'll see there's number fives all over the place. I ate and I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I ate. Okay, so where are we going next with this? I think we're going to drop it right here. Uh, Ron Paul is still uh, the number one guy. Uh, don't ask too many questions. You want to know, go watch. If you don't understand and you're like me, just listen to me. I'm 50 years old. I've never voted in my life. And at this time of my life, if I had to vote, I'd vote for Ron Paul. In fact, it's like an automatic it's like an automatic. I mean, it's, it's underneath my skin. It hurts. For someone who doesn't 
For someone who votes, if they do not look at everything in Ron Paul, then they are complete idiots. And if they do I look at Ron Paul and they don't like him, well, that's the way it goes. But you must look at this gentleman. Okay? I don't think anybody will say about Obama. Go look at Obama. If you like anything, okay, vote for the guy. I looked at it. I don't like it. Okay, I don't vote for the guy. And I'm Canadian. I can't vote anyways. Anyways, we bumped here into 10 minutes, my second video of the day, probably the uh, somewhat 930th video of my uh, system upgrade. System upgrade because I'm ARC. Yes, I am the R angel resident of R. Why is that? G-H? Because it's G-H heaven. God heaven. The God is that hole to get you back home, my friends. Raphael 7286, 1042, it ends.